Uh, Lyra Bishop will be followed by Judy Waltz, who will be followed by Francois Chiquette, who will be followed by Gary Grant, who will be followed by Martin Lex. Good morning. Good morning. In a while. Okay, I have three things um, that I'd like to get to quickly. Um, first is question um, to County Council. Supervisor Buster um, requested I, some kind of a report. I believe it was for an injunctive order, if I have my terminology correct. would like to know if that is going to be presented um, when 884 gets back onto the agenda. Um, number two, um, with respect to the, um, the passing of Supervisor Wilson, I'd like to um, offer my condolences, and I'd also like to know how the absence of a fifth vote, regardless of which way 884 goes, is going to affect um, the passing or the repealing of that. And then number three, I'll get <laughs> done real quick. Um, I remember that when you presented the alleged anonymous pamphlet, Mr. Stone, you said that, um, and you presented this, and you said that uh, anonymous was against the Jews and against homosexuals. Um, right here. This is what you presented. And this is also in the pamphlet. Anti-gay propaganda. Um, the reason for me showing this is because I like to deal with facts and not just allegations. And I just want to know if you are aware that there are genuine homosexuals who protest under the name Anonymous. And in Israel, there is also, I'm going to use the word chapter, for lack of a better term. There's Anonymous um, in Israel. And the last I checked, that's a Jewish state. So I was just wondering how your allegations um, are true if what I said is actually true. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Judy Walsh, you're next. Am I going to get a uh, response? Yes, uh, we are including a response in the uh, Sheriff's Department report. And uh, to pass or repeal an ordinance, it would be my majority vote, unless it's a uh, urgency ordinance. Thanks. Thank you, Ms. Waltz. Julie Waltz will be followed by Francois Chiquette, followed by Gary Grant, followed by Martin Lax, who was our last speaker. If you didn't hear your name and you would like to speak to the board, please file a request to speak for him. Well, good morning. good morning, and my condolences to the family of Mr. Wilson. Um, as you know, I'm a strong supporter of the United States Constitution, and I'm not affiliated with either group, the special interest group or the protesters. I just want to know for sure if uh, item number 3114, uh, that was supposed to be on the agenda today, if that is going to be placed back on the agenda on the 15th. It says the matter was continued to September 15th, so it will be on the agenda. So we will be speaking about it. We will be voting on it, whether it's going to be passed. I mean, it's, it's, excuse me, the sheriffs are going to <clears throat> say if there's been any incidents? It's a report back from the Sheriff's Department. I don't know what the Sheriff's Department is going to be reporting, the content, but it's coming back on September 15th. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ms. Waltz. French Washington, followed by Gary Grant, followed by Martin Lex. <laughs> Hello. Um, I'd like to extend my condolences to the family of Mr. Wilson. He was a good man and good listener. Um, I'd also like to speak about Residential Picketing Ordinance 884. It was specifically designed at the request of the Church of Scientology to limit protesters still at their compound in Hemet. 
uh, make no mistake, the Scientology lawyers, Al Hadef and Moxon were involved, as well as the Scientology PR people, Catherine Fraser, Muriel Dufresne. 106 letters were written from people we believe are captive on base there to Supervisor Buster. That should have been a clue there. Uh, Scientology met Supervisor Stone on several occasions and for, for this topic and others. Technically, the way that ordinance is written, it's unenforceable because the property lines are invisible and for other reasons. The protesters, the way it's written, have to stand in the middle of the street to protest because they own both sides of the road. The uh, Scientologists own both sides of the road. There has been arrests ordered by the Scientologists since the introduction of Ordinance 884. Uh, the Scientologists have ordered the policemen to make those arrests and there was no objection. In this case here, an 18-year-old uh, was being frisked, but she was in no way threatening. May I remind you all that in Riverside County, we have the right to protest. Prior to that event, the Scientology lawyer Al Hadef specifically told the Board of Supervisors that the ordinance allowed protesters to picket in front of the gates at Gold Base exactly where these people were arrested. Besides, why should it be that a Scientology lawyer determine our constitutional rights? Is there a problem of church-state separation here? Shouldn't you guys determine that? There's also the issue of a possible Highway 79 closure that the cult leader, David Miscavige, has ordered for many years. They've been trying to close that, that road for a long time. Why is it that the, the Scientologists have met with Mr. Stone multiple times? I would think one time should have been enough and it should have been a big no. There's been also other arrests in Nashville for people doing absolutely nothing wrong. There's lots of abuses at that location. Here's a list I've shown before, and that's why people protest. We have a reason to protest. Instead, why not investigate Scientology? Uh, we have spoken to over 10 law enforcement officials, and I've personally spoken to Stanley Sniff and his assistant Pete Lebon about beatings and terrible human rights abuses at Gold Base. Nothing is being done. This situation reminds me of the abduction of J.C. Keith Duggard uh, by a convicted sex offender. Nothing was happening for 18 years, even though the police had been called, plenty of warnings were given. Now it's time to act Thank about you, the abuses at Gold Base. Thank you, sir. Gary Grant, followed by Martin Lax. Good morning, Mr. Chair. My friend Donald's 